On to the latest turn of events in the nation's MERS situation. Korea reported its first MERS deaths in just over a week, meaning the country is not out of the woods yet where the virus is concerned. Kim Hyun bin gives us the updates. Two people died from MERS on Wednesday, raising the death toll to 35. The health ministry said Wednesday the two people had been in what it deemed a high-risk group. They were the first deaths from the disease in eight days. One of the deceased was a 50-year-old with a pre-existing condition, while the other was a person in his 70s who was at risk because of his old age. The ministry added that of the 35 deaths from the disease so far, 32 had been elderly people or people with pre-existing conditions such as diabetes and cancer, which apparently worsened because of the virus. On a more positive note, there have been no new infections reported over the past three days, leaving the total number of people diagnosed with the disease at 186. Of that, 32 remain hospitalized, while 119 have been discharged following full recoveries. Since the MERS outbreak on May 20th, over 16,500 people have been put into isolation for possible infection. Roughly 15,800 people have been released so far after not showing any symptoms of the disease during its 14-day incubation period, placing the number of people still under quarantine at 811. MERS was first reported in Saudi Arabia in 2012 and had a fatality rate of 40 percent until the outbreak in Korea. With the latest deaths, the fatality rate of MERS in Korea has risen to a little less than 19 percent. There is no vaccine or cure for the disease. Kim Hyun-bin, Arirang News.